Oh, wow. The wonders of technology in 2015. No, seriously, where, where the hell did Grey get one of these in the movie? Did they even make them anymore? Like, Jesus. I could see the light and it's bright. So hello! That was a car alarm. Hello, I'm the Game Beaver. Welcome back to another episode of Sort of Unboxing Things. Today we're doing, of course, the Mosasaur. And if my beautiful assistant uh, wouldn't mind presenting it. Take it away! Thank you, thank you. So, here it is! The Mosasaur in all its beauty. I can't believe I got one. We got one, guys. We got one in the game, and now, what better way to celebrate it than to unbox the toy? Um, this is, oh, hold on, I got an itchy foot. This is an incredibly rare toy. Um, in fact, the whole line of these sorts of toys are incredibly rare. Um, we're talking about the this Mosasaur, we're talking about the Indominus versus Gyrosphere, the Pteranodon versus Helicopter, and of course this being Mosasaur versus Submarine. Um, of course we're going to unbox it, we'll take a quick look at it, um, so I'll just do some close-ups. We've, um, we've got the Submarine there, we've got the Mosasaur, as well as the uh, little scuba diving man there. Uh, I am testing out sort of this new system because I actually lost one of my cameras. I say I did lose it. I was on the train um, coming back from EGX and I left the bag on there with it had the camera, it had three of the batteries for it, all the batteries I had for it, uh, the standard kit lenses, which what I use for this camera, and it's gone. Somebody obviously didn't hand it in, looked at it, and it had the microphone and everything in it, like an SD card. So. Some little buggers have nicked off with this. Ah, what you gotta do? But well, we're gonna continue with this. We'll have a look at the back of it. And there you go. We've got the Moses saw. Looking beautiful. Duck in the submarine. What more could you want? So, I mean, let's not waste any more time and get into it, shall we? Okay. We'll get that knife out of there. And here it is. This is the Moses Of course, this is the one that we're wanting to look at. We don't really care much about this. But uh, we're gonna look at this one first. Um, I'm gonna say, looks pretty cool. Um, of course, comes with the, uh, the little part that you can pip open and get the open wound there. It's not as good as Indominus Rex's or the Pteranodons because it only comes up halfway. So it leaves a lot to be desired. Um, the other side of it has, of course, the Hasbro patented bullet holes everywhere. Don't know why they need to be that big. They're so deep. So why don't they just fill them in? Um, I mean, we all know the answer to it. It has a cool little action feature, which is if you pull its front flippers, it moves its tail and chomps. Now that's pretty cool. The fact that it moves, it does, hold on, I just wanna, I don't like having its gaping wound open there. It chomps and moves its tail. So I'm just gonna hold the back fin. Sorry, I'll hold its middle. And there you go, so you get a full. So that's its articulation and that is pretty damn good. I'm, like, as far as a Mosasaur could go, apart from it being a full wire model with, uh, like, sort of frames in between, so it's sort of snakes, th I think this is the best you can do. The fact that it has a chomp action that you don't just have to open and close the mouth itself, like, it opens so far, and then, boom, closes. I think that's really cool. I had a toy that, um, when I was younger, that did sort of that. It sort of, ang 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 instead of, you know, having to open it and close it. And I loved playing with that. So kids are going to love it. Um, I'm gonna take a quick look at the paint job. Um, I can't really see any problems. I mean, even if you look at its head, I don't know how close you can get really there. Um, but its head's got a lovely sort of dry, well, it's not a dry brush, it's sort of like a spray paint. And its eye, its eye looks really good. Um, they've even put a little iris in there. They've put a highlight as well. So you've got the regular eye color and you've also got the, um, the highlight so they put a lot of effort into this one i'm going to quickly look inside its mouth um teeth teeth good you don't have you don't actually have much paint marks over the side of them so you don't have much bleeding it looks really good um i a paint job i've got to say like nine out of ten possibly ten I, you can't get much better than this um and the model itself the model is really cool you can't like move the tail itself but I don't know, 
I mean, I don't really know why you'd want to in case it's just fitting somewhere, I guess you could, that's the reason why you'd want to do that. The back fins are just posable. There's no real, um, well, I guess there's no, I mean, the thing is, when you have a movement like this, you can't then just move the fins the way you want them. And it's strange that this, I mean, it's meant to stand like that. So that's cool, but I mean, a Mosasaur would have its fins out to the side or something. Um, but I'd, I'm gonna give the Mosasaur a pass here. The only problem, it's only one thing, and I don't know how well you can see it, but here is like, it looks like snot. Not gonna lie, it looks like snot. It's obviously some glue that's dried. Um, I'll try to get a close up of it for you guys. But it, it, it I, it's not that pleasing. I do have another one, um, but I don't know if it's got that sort of mark on it. Meh. I, get, I think it could be scraped off. Yeah, you could scrape it off. It's just gonna take some time. But there you have it. On to the summary. Now, it comes in the packaging like this, so sideways. Um, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna move the top one. And then the bottom one moved, and I was like, oh man, that sucks. And now I've realized, actually, it goes this way. So this is the summary. Looks pretty cool. Um, you've got sort of grabbers. And not only that, the grabbers open as well. Um, I think they're individual, yeah. Each each side can open and close to fit. You've got a turret on top that sort of moves, and you also get this. This is the net, and that goes in like so. And I'm guessing, I don't know how you fire it. Um, actually, is, there, is that a button? Oh, I think it is. Is it clicked in? It is clicked in. Okay, we're about to test to see how far this goes. Not bad. Not as crazy as the gyrosphere, I will admit, but pretty cool actually. And there's no certain way to put it in, you can spin around or what have you. So, let's get to the part that we're all excited for. The reason why we bought this, not for the most, so, not for the submarine, no. It's for this little man here. And this is it, this is him. Um, you can't really focus it too, I mean, there he is. Um, I don't know really much we can say about him, he's, generic gray man with a blob of pink for his face and a blob of green for his goggles um gray i mean it does the job i don't know why he's a diver i mean he's in a submarine but why is he wearing a diving suit i mean i guess you could have him swim in the pool or swim in the sink because no doubt kids are gonna put him in in there, so here you go. You have him. You have that little bit there. That you can take out, and I'm gonna try to put him in. See if he fits. I mean, so far they've done it. They've done a great job with putting them in and stuff. Oh, look at that! He probably goes inside. Sorry, I don't think you got it there. There he is, and there he goes inside for his mission. So, can't you, I mean, you can't really see him in there. It's really dark. Yeah, it's completely dark. Um, now with these things, there's always like a way to break. Oh, there you go. There's a button at the back that you can sort of like, nah, I will get you. So you have like grabbers, you have a net shooter. I don't know how that net's supposed to catch a Mosasaur. Cause I mean, could net his face, I suppose. But how on earth? Oh, so that's how you do it. The Mosasaur destroys the submarine by bashing it and tips out the uh, diver. That's pretty cool. Um, now can the, uh, Net trigger the Mosasaur's um, thingy. We're about to find out. Hold on, we'll do a close up. We'll do a close up. You ready? Let's go. Ah, oh, it worked. Beautiful. Nice. Okay, I'm glad. Okay, that works. Because I mean, that's that's what you want to do as a kid. You want to see if it works. If it doesn't work. It's not worth buying. Um, I mean, overall model quality of the submarine. It's it's what you expect. It's it's like a little. It's I mean, it's nothing amazing, um, but it's all right. I, I, I wouldn't look at this and say, that's bad. I think overall, this is a pretty good product. Um, the, oh, the only downside with these, with the Indominus Rex, with the Pteranodon, is this guy it's just, I don't want this one. I want Chris Pratt, I want Claire. You know, would it have been really that hard to have made this Masrani in the in the Trandon helicopter, to have made this maybe Claire with the Mosasaur, to have made Indominus with um, the kids in the gyrosphere, or Chris with Blue, I don't know, just 
something like that. It would have been nicer than just generic scuba diving Dan or military destructo man Dan. You know, it's it's not. It, it could have been a lot more, but they didn't do it with it for some odd reason. Um, but this set, uh, I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna bring them all up here because I have them. So we have the Indominus Rex. I had so much fun playing with the Indominus Rex. I don't think I've actually, I'd say in order of the way they go. So we're gonna, we're gonna sort of line them up here. So you have, you have sc Scuba Man there, Indominus Rex, and Duraladon with helicopter. Oh, sorry, I forgot the uh, gyrosphere. And the, the gyrosphere still has the man inside it. Um, so there you go. And then you have the pterodactyl and the helicopter. Now, if you're wondering which one to buy, one, for a start, is it in a shop? Because I haven't seen, since the release of Jurassic World, I haven't seen these anywhere. Like, none. I, I found the Indominus Rex and the Torandon at the start when Jurassic World first came out. Or even just before it, I think it was. And since then, I haven't seen any of these products. These sort of helicopter verses or gyrosphere verses. Um, the Mosasaur I bought online actually at not a bad price. I will admit it wasn't like crazy, like 200 pounds or 60 quid. It wasn't anything like that. It was pretty decent. Um, so there are people out there who, I don't know, maybe, hopefully they're good people and want to supply it to us, the fans or the people that want them, the kids who want to play with them. Um, but as far as these go, I think the most fun I've had is the Indominus Rex, and that's because the gyrospheres, like it moves. I don't think this, this, there's no wheels on the submarine. Um, the gyrosphere has a little bit of wheels. It comes with this disc thing, which fires off at a lethal speed, which is awesome. Oh God, don't, don't die. And it has like a crack in the front of it. Oh, and of course it's from the movie. We saw Indominus Rex destroy this thing. So what kid doesn't want to do that? Uh, to like recreate those those moments. I mean you see it with the helicopter, but for me I don't think the Pteranodon holds its own against the Mosasaur or even the Indominus. The Indominus is the best. I'm gonna say the Indominus Rex set is the best here um, Because it has so much articulation It comes with of course that wound which is awesome and really well done. I gotta say I, I love this feature I like that it, you, it the wound isn't always there you can cover it up because you don't want that. You don't want to have this horrible gaping wound in your toy unless you want it there. So you can sort of cover it up. And of course, the biting motion. That is awesome. Yeah. I love that these toys come with them. Um, Tyrannodon isn't that great. Like this, 10 out of 10. This toy, this model, it's a nice size. It's not too big, not too small. Um, it's not too, it doesn't seem too fragile. It's, it, it's sturdy. It comes with a cool little action feature. The paint job's pretty good. Um, Mosasaur is a second, a very close second. The fact that it comes with this, like it moves its tail and bites down. Oh, did I just, oh, I was gonna say, I didn't, I didn't break it there. So you can sort of click it into place. And then from there, you can like bite a little bit more. So it's almost like it's double jointed, <laughs> bit weird. But that biting is actually a little bit better than Indominus's. But overall, the toy I think is, the best is gonna. I'm gonna have to go with Indominus just because you get some leg articulations there. Um, you can also articulate the hands, like each individual hand. With the flippers, it's sort of. Actually, could, do you do it with the. No, the tail doesn't move anything with the Mosasaur, unfortunately. But the tail in the Indominus is sort of. It's almost like a gun, just the way you hold the figure and then you can like use the action feature there. With the Mosasaur, you are, uh, I'm just gonna put, oh God, you're going, yep, you're gone. With the Mosasaur, you have to hold it and then sort of do that. So it would be better if you were like doing this with it and biting it like that, because I don't know, it, it looks better like that, I think. Cause then you see more of the, the toy without a big hand covering it doing this. And uh, no kid really wants to see their hand when they're playing it. I know, I was one of those kids that recorded themselves playing uh, playing with the toys and made little action movies and everything. It's kind of how I started into this whole thing. But um, moving on to the Trandon, I don't think the Trandon's a very strong model. Um, I mean, you do that to bite it, like, 
I'll just show you guys again, just in case you haven't seen the video, but all of these have been reviewed and you, you can find them on my channel. Just type in helicopter versus Trandon or Trandon or Moses or Indominus Rex. It'll, it'll pop up on my channel. So the fact that it's biting is also it's flapping doesn't sell it for me. I don't, it's all right, but I will say Indominus Rex is awesome. Mosasaur versus Indominus. Nah. In fact, actually Mosasaur, I don't know if it would win this fight because actually, screw it. It's got loads of teeth and it's massive in comparison to it. Like, look at that. Just look at the jaw there. That's awesome. Nah. So I'm going to have to say that um, Mosasaur, this is a definite pass. It's one of the better toys you're gonna get. It might be hard finding it because you'll have to go online. Um, but if you are only wanting to spend a little bit of money on possibly just one of these, I would say go for Indominus because you're not gonna go far wrong with this unless you really like Mosasaur. Definitely go for that. I would hesitate to go for um, Tyranodon unless you just want to, unless you really like the Tyranodon scene or the creature itself and you want a helicopter with a weird lipstick bazooka thing on it. And yeah, that's gonna have to wrap it up. So. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.